Hi, it's Alina here, and I would like to talk about um, Lunar Operations Command today and what I remember from a few of my visits on the moon and being at the LOC a few times. Um, what I mainly remember is the building itself. It was circular and it looked like domed structures. To me, it had various levels on the surface that were domed. It was built like in a dome structure. Um, very, very interesting looking buildings and they were side by side. They had like many different rooms and office type structures there in the building itself. So it was business-like and it had many different corridors leading to places. So you can, can get lost in it. And it also had what looked like um, garden type enclosures with trees. I know that sounds weird, but it had like two of those gathering areas in one building and another building where um, assets can go and relax. So it was like, like little park garden areas that were separate from the um, office offices, office levels themselves, and various meeting areas, um, also various small living quarters where visitors can stay. And there's different types of um, living quarters and um, guest stay areas. Um, there's ones for um, new assets. There's living areas for uh, mid-level assets that have been there for a while. Um, there's also living arrangements for permanent or rotating personnel that are uh, always there on the LOC, Lunar Operations Command. And there's the VIP uh, areas where uh, VIPs come in, dignitaries, negotiators, commanders, etc., etc. They have separate VIP quarters where they stay. So it's all kind of separated in different areas of um, quarters and guest quarters and such. And that's further from the office areas and the meeting areas, the command centers, um, also the operational tactical rooms and stuff like that where they monitor various and coming and outgoing um, space traffic around the moon, the earth and Mars. So there's comm rooms, communication rooms, there's various computer rooms there. There's a lot of stuff there. There's also the um, medical bays, landing bays, um, a few different uh, labs. There are um, medical labs there, medical bays. Um, they do some genetic experimentation and they do work on various healing technology. Um, they have astrophysics labs as well where science is involved. So it's a very big place and there's a surface structure and that's that's basically a circular building with many other different out, out, outer buildings around it. So, and it has many levels to that uh, building that's on the surface of the moon and it's dome shaped. They're dome shaped. And there's also levels that go underground, underground of the surface structure where um, more of the classified stuff is done, where um, personnel that are on the surface base, as you would call it, don't see what goes on downstairs in the underground levels, where that's more military classified type of stuff uh, that the SSP does. It's more military levels to that base, the LOC, um, more of the classified stuff and operations. And there's like, I would say 40 to 50 levels 
on that base. It's very interesting and from what I remember, to me it did not look like a swastika of an old German base that was built out on the surface. It, it had this more modern sleek look with domed shaped buildings, circular type buildings. A lot of white grayish stuff. Um, whatever material the base was built on on the surface, it is really kind of grayish white and it blends in with the surface features of the moon itself. So you can't really see it from space. It just, however they built it, really blends in with color and structures to the moon, to the surface of the moon. So it looks camouflaged from deep space when you're flying in. It's, it's ingenious material building, whatever they used to build it with, but it doesn't look like a swastika at all. And it's not an old German base that they built out on to make it bigger. That's not how I remember it at all. There have been other insiders who said that it, the shape of the base looked like a swastika of an old German base, which to me it wasn't. That's not how it looked like. It looked modern. It looked sophisticated and it looked business type to me, like a business building. Um, no swastikas that I could see. And the interesting thing is when I was looking for images online for what LOC looks like, I found the building that I remember seeing with the round circular dome shaped structures surrounding the main building and it looked white with many different levels. There's some kind of glass around these domes as well that you can can see out from. I think it's plexiglass or something more sophisticated so um, it doesn't break easily and the material that the base itself is made of is um, they use materials that are not breakable. That that actually last for a very long time. So that's very important. So the interesting thing that I um, found while looking for the images of the LOC buildings was that there was a movie made in 2012 called Iron Sky, which actually um, talked about how the German breakaway civilization went to the moon and separated itself from the earth and its governments. So particularly the US. So in what was in the movie was how the Germans were living on the moon in a swastika German base with their own culture and their own civilization. Although technologically they were um, somewhat behind the times from the um, earthers uh, it, it just it was a sarcastic satirical type of a movie there's a lot of satire used in there in iron sky um what the Ger the most funniest thing in the movie was that the germans had these old style huge computers that were like huge and they were old school the computers that you'd had in the early 80s, 70s, which were huge box-like things. And when um, some of the NASA astronauts landed on the moon to do an exploration mission in 2018, they were, they were kidnapped by these German soldiers. Um, and one of the astronauts' cell phone, smartphone, was taken away and he said, like, dude, that's a computer. And uh, the German scientist pointed to the wall and said, no, this huge, huge box thing is the computer. And, and the astronaut was like, no, 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 this, this small smartphone thing that we used to call each other, it's a computer. We have small computers on Earth. This is, uh, you know, this is old technology that you have on that wall, that huge box thing 
Um, so there was that. And it showed the German culture. So it's quite interesting. Um, the Germans did have the flying saucers and they were mining for helium-3. Um, which is actually a, uh, it's an element which provides endless sources of energy to power ships, to build bases. Helium-3 is something that's probably on the moon. So that was interesting and the Earth government had holographic technology in ships that could travel out to space as well. They had, they had their own space fleets. So that was interesting and yet they sent an old style rocket to the moon. It was pretty it was a pretty funny movie and satirical. I can't even say the word correctly. So I'll just say satire. It was just comical and had a lot of satire in it. And interesting disclosure, but the thing was what the movie disclosed Iron Sky is that the Germans were not the most technologically advanced breakaway civilization on the moon. They had a swastika old style base um, and they were doing helium-3 mining. Um, and Sarah, Sarah Palin had actually uh, won the election and was president of the United States, which was pretty funny. It was, I just couldn't stop laughing. So, just makes me wonder what the disclosure is that we're getting. Because I don't remember seeing a swastika style base on the moon. I remember seeing dome shaped base that the LOC had built themselves and it hadn't been built on the foundation of a German base. It was swastika looking in shape. So that's not what I remembered. And in the movie Iron Sky, they had a swastika base. So just interesting to do a comparison analysis of what I remember, what's in Iron Sky, and what other insiders are sharing information about the type of LOC that they remember seeing. So I just wanted to share that with everyone, and thank you and namaste!